Hello and welcome back to the Midwest. Yes, yeah, this is the Midwest mainline and we are pretty much where we were when we left off. That is the middle of Grand Rapids and everybody overly excited for our little bus service that we put in. What have we got planned today? Well, I'm going to bring the UI up. I like to start it as a, as a picture. It does look like a picture, doesn't it? It's beautiful. But uh, we've got money in the bank. Yes, we have. All those... Uh, all those loans we took out are starting to uh, pay for themselves. And we need to set up a sawmill run so that uh, the tools, not far from here, actually start producing tools and don't just sit there. I mean, we don't have to. We could just link up all the, all the uh, main businesses and the uh, raw resources down to factories and leave it at that. There's no challenge in that, though, is there? Since we don't have to worry about actually delivering the tools yet, here we are, this is where we're aiming at, we can just do the, oh, do you know, we'll, we'll turn the red numbers off and pretend that we're not losing money. It's a habit from Transport Fever 1, if, if you're wondering, because once you've got a huge map running and you see all those uh, red numbers flying up, it looks uh, it looks a bit garish. So this is our, our tool work. It does look beautiful. I thought it would come in here. This is the, the loading area, or the storage area, which we're going to get to in a second because we're going to have to build what is now sort of a warehouse. I hope they do bring warehouses into it, but we'll get to that soon. Anyway, yesterday I was testing away. We're going to come back to our quarry here, and we'll bring up the line manager quickly, or the line statistics, I should say, not manager. And if we, uh, we click the little eye icon, it's only only visible in the main view so if you're only interested in matching up a couple of lines you can just find a place where they only appear on your screen and you can do all the business there there we go we've got a rate of 207 and we are running dry here which does bolster this is only producing 200 not 400 so since we are running low on here and our freak our rate our frequency matches uh, about 207 was it 207 but yes 207 since it matched 207 this shipment figure is is kind of key but it, the production should possibly match it that's all i was getting at that i would like a, a quick overview of of what it's actually producing it, which brings uh, the whole demand thing people saying there's no demand i've seen in the forums yes yeah, there's a wonderful array of comments down in the forums over on steam we'll, we'll ignore most of them but over, over here is our other part of this puzzle, which is once we start supplying Grand Rapids construction materials, this will indeed shift to an actual 400 production. Which brings me on to my next test, one that surprised me greatly. Someone in the comments suggested I should run a train from here to there. Now, unfortunately, it goes against the whole mainline thing where all the lines it's i mean it's a rule we set i set for the for the series but a a train running from here to here made three times what these are making for the same throughput so this distance here not too short for for a profitable train run whether that's the same case in in hard mode i don't know but for medium this this works now what i might do i'm going to put a uh, Put a vote on this uh, it should appear up in the up here somewhere and it'll always be available if you click the little eye at the top top uh top right of the video but do we bend the rules slightly because technically it will be connected to the main line because we're going to have a station here that's obviously bringing stuff in to minneapolis and sending stuff over to grand rapids do we bend those rules slightly and, and put the train in there. So just a simple yes and no on that. I'm gonna say no, because it, it's a bit cheaty, but it, it could also, the rule could also be bent slightly, considering it is connected to the main line. But anyway, so that, that surprised me. So if you're on your own playthrough, if you wanna bend the rules, this is profit profitable. Running a train this short distance, providing you use the right train. I used the little shunter. It was only averaging maybe 30 miles an hour down here. Just slowly going backwards and forwards. What I did was match up the frequency there 
and it, it made far more than these trucks do. Now, another thing I was testing out is the whole mechanic where, I mean, we don't really have it here. We, we probably still have it over at our, our logging facility. We click on here. This is obviously producing to the max. It's not going to upgrade any, any more beyond this because we have a, a secondary forest over there. So this is the most we can take out here. Here's one of our money trains. But if you do click on this, you see this is over overcrowded, overloaded. I keep saying overcrowded, it's overloaded. Our train fits on perfectly, that's lovely. But yes, since we are losing goods, that's not how we want to really operate in the future because that's just throwing money down the drain, isn't it? But the, the same thing's gonna happen for trucks truck stations when we get over to here and we're dropping off uh, construction materials eventually having a train station drop off goods to a truck station you're going to need a mightily big truck station otherwise the rest of it just falls off into nowhere i don't know what they do with it they're just really haphazardly throwing it onto the onto the platforms of the truck station or the bays of the truck station and then they get damaged beyond repair and we lose the money. Uh, we don't lose the money for dropping it off, I believe. I don't think that's the case, but we don't get to deliver it into Grand Rapids and that's gonna hurt us in the long run. So yes, should we get that up and running? Look at our money, 10.9 million. All of a sudden it's gone snowbally. We should set up our first station into this tool works. And now remember, we're gonna be going by the main line. This is the, the main bit of the main line that we're all connecting to. And every line has to hit it at least once. If it has a train, it doesn't so much matter about trucks. So you could you could run trucks wherever you like, but our, our train routes have to go through the main line. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Make it a little bit more difficult. So let's get us a station in. It really doesn't matter whether it's a terminus. Technically, it should be a terminus, right? Because we've got no way to go out the back. However, put in a station like this, we can change it to a terminus later once we've figured out how long we want it. For now, we only need it uh, like this. But later on, we can turn it into a terminus because they are modular. So that's in there. We are then gonna need a truck station later. We're not gonna do it today. There is one thing I would love to see, because if we put it in now, we're obviously gonna be paying needless uh, upkeep on it. But one thing I would like to see, oh, actually we can go to one that we already have, can't we? Given that storage is an issue, issue, if we go to configure and see this, and you go to cargo, it doesn't actually tell you how much a, a cargo section stores. Given everything we've learned and the update, it would be lovely to know that, wouldn't it? We could work it out. So, I mean, it's not too bad, but being able to at a glance know how much storage you're adding to, to a truck station would be, would be lovely. Which then leads me to adding a building thing on here. Because you do have to account for the amount of goods you are dropping off if you're doing train. I mean, this doesn't matter where it's, where it's trickling onto the platforms there. But when you're dropping a, a large delivery from your trains to here, it's gonna, it's gonna overfill immediately. And even with, and I've, tr I've tried many ways, even with a queue of trucks here, waiting for the delivery they just don't get it off the platforms fast enough and and the exclamation mark appears up here yes so what would be nice warehouse buildings right that you can attach to these to store the goods i mean yes you could still fill those up but it would make more sense to me yeah that's just an idea i had considering that is key mechanic now should we go and do this now that we have the funds, we're not only going to double track it, we're going to we're going to double platform it. Have two terminals. We're obviously going to have to bring it here. The reason I'm doing this, we we don't technically have to double track it all the way up here, but the reason I'm doing that is because we never want these trains up this section where they need a bit of speed at the moment to get up the gradient. We never want them tripping over each other. So let's do that. Do you know technically? These could have warehouses too, couldn't they? It could be a, a global thing. But let's let's uh, set up a second platform, shall we? Or another terminus. And we don't want passengers. I'm sure they'd love to come out here and, and visit the sawmill. That's not what we're doing. We're leaving this end open 
for uh, future expansion down to the machines there. What we need to do is double track this so that our trains never trip over. You could calculate perfect passing routes and that might be advisable. Uh, we Oh! We already have catenary, I never noticed that. Right, no catenary. It's probably been there forever, but I did not notice. So we're going to double track it. Like I said, in hard mode, you might need to uh, be a little little more frugal with your <laughs> track laying. But medium, it's okay. And if you're playing in easy mode, you just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just do what you want. You can still make mistakes, but it's not quite as important. The reason I'm doing this is we're, we're starting to establish our main line a little more. And it will become apparent quite quickly. Because the things I want to do as as we're at the snowball phase of income. In fact, we could we could pay a bit more off, couldn't we, before we finish this? Uh, how much do we have? Look at that, guys. We could literally come out of debt. I mean, it would be nice, but we have got to also buy a train soon. Let's take it down to 5 million. That's about the ballpark figure for a, a new train. Actually, it's not going to be that expensive. You know what? 4 million. See? Not a problem. 1911. And we're almost out of debt. But we've still got some uh, we've still got some work to do. Now, this is on the wrong side. Good job. It matters not. If we quickly pause it. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate to do this. I don't recommend deleting too much of your stuff. As it undoes all the terraforming you've paid for. So it really punishes you for for changing layouts. I, I should have realised that's what side that was on. It's okay. We'll fix it. So what we can do, we'll delete this bit. Yes, you're going to moan, it's fine. it's fine. We're going to delete that section and that section. It's going to cost us a bit extra. There we go. Beautiful. And our crossing doesn't look horrendous. Even better. Yes, you're going to moan now, which is a little unfortunate. Are you on the right side at least? I, I forgot about this as well. Good thinking. Yeah, you're on the wrong side. However, do you know what we can do? We can cheat a little bit. We can put a... Well, the actual junction's going to be up here. So, no, no, don't do it. We'll have a temporary crossover just there. That will allow it to get over. And we'll go back to our one-way signals. This is only temporary. No, fear not. We just need him to get off, off that line and onto the proper one. Oh, what else are we going to need, guys? What else are we going to need? We're going to need a diamond here, aren't we? For both, both lines that we have running. We could share a platform, but I'd rather not. Uh, the reason is it, it can it can get overcrowded now, can't it? Over Overcrowded. Overloaded. Stop saying overcrowded. Get in there. And get in there. There we go. We have a diamond. No need to turn it into a double slip switch. We'll put a signal here. And that should sort that out. They will currently cross over there. It, mm, nope. There we go. It won't. Now that he's crossed the, the temporary crossover, we, we can safely remove it and there will be no complaints. And we'll put a signal just here. We're going to have to start thinking about blocking now as we're going to have multiple trains running down here. I don't want to go too crazy with the blocking early on because I like to change the signals over to the, uh, to the ones with lenses, the nice shiny red and greens and stuff. We want one kind of there and there, and just eyeballing it. I would love to see what, what the distance from the previous signal is. But it matters not. Come on, just get them in there. There we go. Uh, another one up here. I don't know why I'm putting them here, because we're going to need a junction, aren't we? That's fine. Oh, look at that. They're all neatly spaced out. There goes our other logging train with some more money. Right, and now we've got to connect up to this. And that should uh, give us our line. And finally, we'll be delivering our goodies from the... Uh, Starting all the way from the wood, down to the sawmill, into the into the tool factory. So let's let's get us a junction here, shall we? Yeah, I, I, that's why I shouldn't have put them in there. Get rid of those two for now. A waste of money, weren't it? Can we do this nice and neatly? It would be great. We don't want to scrub off speed, do we? Ideally. So what's the angle there? We, we kind of want to come off more like that. 60 is going to be fine. Uh, we could do that as well. Make sure it looks all right. Get that in there. And get that there. Doing this for future expansion as well. 
We want trains to be able to queue up in here. And considering this is the side, this is the side the entrance is, we're going to be expanding that way. So let's do the tracks on the right side from the start. And then uh, we'll, we can come in here. There we go. And that goes into there. Now what we can do is signal this up correctly uh, to make with one way signals to make sure that we force our trains into using the correct tracks. And that, that will save any headaches later on. Our usual three signals protecting the junction there. There we go. And now if we look, perfect. Let's set up this line then. We're going to make our first delivery very shortly. I'm excited to get this underway because it's going to be more profit. I know we, we've dropped down a bit, but here comes 4 million along the line. New line. Let's do it. We haven't made one in a while. It's going to be from here. What color is it? It's kind of that color, isn't it? Uh, the, the planks. And then you go into there and everything should be beautiful. We're sharing a line with, with the logging trains there. And our lumber trains have uh, assigned themselves two different platforms. The one we built later, which is wonderful. Now, what I'd like to do, we're going to make use Grand Rapids South. Do you know what? Can we, can we rename these? Let's call this Grand Rapids Saw Mills. And then if we go down here, I love this bit of this. I love this. <laughs> Grand Rapids Sawmills. There we go. We could call it company names. Should we should we name this one as well? But this would be although it is the tool works, it is uh, sidings would kind of work. Actually, yeah, we we can do that. It's Grand Rapids Sidings as it's gonna have multiple uses. So perfect. Oh, we didn't name the didn't name the line. This would be Grand Rapids lumber freight there we go done now well look at that that makes me happy the way that lines up perfectly easily pleased okay we've got it we've got it in what was i going to say yes we need to go back to that line I, I i got distracted by cool stuff naming but this line here i would like them at the sawmill to actually wait until full like i said we're going to save some money three minutes is fine I don't know what the uh, what's the frequency on this train. Uh, the logging trains are six minutes thirty eight currently. So six minutes thirty eight divided by two, because we've got two trains running. That's how long it takes to do the uh, per station. That should be that should be the right math. So three minutes isn't quite going to be enough. We we want it to sit there. Hopefully we get to see this upgrade, and this will might happen if we can deliver 200 we're, we're gonna have to balance the rates a little differently because it's two for one is it two for one absolutely two for one so let's get a train on there it doesn't matter how big it is we'll go for like a half size of these should be a good start well you're gonna be out here aren't you waiting for him i would like to double track this as soon as possible really we do have it double tracked up to here and this is the one it's coming into what we could do but you're on that side oh that's all sorts of awkward isn't it yeah i would like to double track this well he'll get off up there shortly let's do it let's double track this as well since we haven't got to worry too much about funds now we're making enough money that train's going to come in too we're going to be spending a bit to get our train down here like i said we're, we're doing the one depot challenge as well that i added to the all the challenges that we're doing but if we bring this all the way up here at least up to the depot right that would kind of make sense like so we can have a branch here as long as that's over 50 this bit's 26 not the other bit and then we can one way there oh no you can't because you haven't connected it has he passed it yet yeah there he goes it's be, it'll be fine it'll be fine he should still come down this way right there we go and now you're off pause that get rid of this section and we'll put in a new piece of track here and you're just basically double tracked all the way but it does mean now considering we have this signal oh we ate all of all of his wagons that's nice that we haven't really they've, they've vanished into rendering land somewhere but we can have more blocking up here for when we take more and more trains out of this depot I am super looking forward to that. We do need some more trains on the line. We can fit another block in here. There we go. More blocking. 
relatively evenly spaced. I'm quite surprised. Right, we've got money. Because we're, we're, our money is ticking up from all of our other services that are running now. We can now buy us a train. I don't think it'll cost us too much. Ten wheeler. No more. Is it called the gondola? Ooh, we have new trucks. Guess what we're doing after this then? The Mercedes Benz. Is that all just Benz? Was it just Benz back then rather than Mercedes Benz? But yes, we have two new trucks. This is great. We get to do some math today. Wonderful grand. <laughs> but we will. We'll do some, do a little bit of math on that when we replace them. Anyway, you got distracted. We don't want the Atlantic. It is awful, attractive effort. And we've got some hills and it's going to need to pull those big, big uh, lumber trains up and down that hill. So we want to head for this one, which has better power and track. In fact, I don't, it's got good power, but it means you wouldn't be able to have a lot of passenger wagons on the back. This one, I think, is, is a better train for us. Uh, we're obviously going to put it on for our passenger services because we want to see lots of trains. We didn't get to see the Mogul or the, or the Baldwin. Ten Wheeler, its real name. We're going to get you on here, then we're going to get some cargo. We only want these. Now, some of you may be saying, why don't you send your trains back up there with some goods on? These logging trains, as they use the same same thing here we we could do that i mean it's it's sort of tempting but we'll see how it goes i mean it would delay the whole frequency for this massive line and you would have to wait for the the thing to kick in but you could take bits back oh do you know is that a good idea could we just have them stop by that station it means we might have to have more trains running on there i'm, I'm gonna think about that now because that might not be a bad idea We'll run a half capacity train doing it for now. There we go. 6.52 million. We can just afford it. And you don't want to go on there. You want to go on the one over there, please. Lumber, get on there. You go and do your stuff. I'm happy. We have a new train. Well, we could colour him, couldn't we? There he is. In his current colour. Let's colour him. Configure vehicle. Ooh, what did I click on there? That's not what I was supposed to click on. I actually want to... Well, you could do it via vehicle, can't you? Configure vehicles? Yes, you can. Of course you can. Uh, we want this to be that colour. Does it look awful? Oh, he looks beautiful. I like him. And these look cool, don't they? With the yellow at the bottom. Oh, I like that. Should we colour these? Are these already brown? I can't remember. These are like in their actual colour, aren't they? In their blue. We should always look at the the uh, pre-coloured versions. But if we go to Grand Rapids and configure vehicles on this one, we can change these to brown. And then, I mean, we already know what trains they are. What are you waiting for? Oh yeah, he's coming out the depot. What he's got to wait for is that train to pass this signal. His back end. There he goes. There he goes. That That's not a delay we'll need to deal with. Uh, all the time, only when trains coming out the depot. So he's off, and he's off, and we've got money here. We just got money as well. That's one. There we go. There we go. Our our sawmill has finally kicked into production. If we look here, shipment a hundred of two hundred. Production two hundred. What are the rates that we've got going on that we have to care about? So we need to match roughly half of what these guys are doing, which would be, say if we're, we're going ballpark figure of 400, so we want to be closer to 200. At the moment, he's not going to he's not gonna do it, is he? Which might be okay just to get us going. We will extend him, possibly, because we could always stick another wagon on the back. Uh, he will struggle up the hill, but we could definitely do that. Oh, that looks good. So we go, another line, but we've got, we'll come back and check on this once it gets going. How many have you already got on the platforms? There's only 21 on there. It's going to take a while, isn't it? You've still got 116. What we really want is this to be perfectly just ticking into zero when the next logging train pulls in. that will be fantastic. Now, we're not going to be transporting, I don't think. Yes, we will be, won't we? We will be transporting once he starts making deliveries. We're going to keep an eye on this, guys, and see if it upgrades and see what, what happens to the sawmill. 
Let's go over here. We've got some trucks to deal with. And we've got to do some math, haven't we? Now, what we could do is just replace them straight off. All of these trucks with the new ones. And you can do that by going in here, configure vehicles. And without anything selected, we could just replace them all with... What are we taking? We're taking stone, so it would be the, the one with the tarpaulin over the top. We can afford it. It's 1.38 million. We can as well because it's medium difficulty and we don't have to worry about doing things like that. If you were to play hard mode, we could we could do a little math. I have to thank Shenra, Shenria, Shenria over on Twitch for this. I was watching him yesterday. Uh, I'll leave a link to his Twitch channel down below. He also raided a good friend of mine with like 900 odd viewers, uh, Slim Gaming, who's always linked on my channel's main, main page. But yes, Shenrir Shenra, he did this yesterday. I never thought about doing it. But it's a fun way uh, to, to kind of guesstimate the throughput before you change the, the trucks over. First off, I've got to grab the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the cool thing about it, right? If you, if you, can you hear me messing about with the cal calculator here? Oh, I pressed all the buttons. That's not good. You know, I've not used this in forever. This calculator, and it's lovely. Right, 19 vehicles. Start with that. Times. How much do you carry? Uh, no, don't be changing anything just yet. How much do these carry? Six times six equals what? That's 114, and their speed is, where are we? 16 miles an hour times 114 by 16. So our ballpark figure is 1,824. What we want to do is figure out how many trucks that would be on the new ones. All right, I had to pause it there, so there'll be a quick edit. <laughs> we can play it now. I, I realized I didn't have pen and paper, so I couldn't note these down. I'm hoping to do some little graphics on the screen of the math. So I wanted uh, I wanted those written down so I didn't have to keep scrubbing through the, the video editing. Anyway, behind the scenes stuff. So we've got that bigger now, 1,824. That's, that's the capacity of our line. Now if we go into the Benz is what we're going to be buying, right? Absolutely. Vehicle manager, we want this one. And if we go to replacements, what does a Benz do? It is capacity 7, but it does 25 miles an hour. See, there are other things we're not taking into consideration, which is power, which is how quickly it's going to get up to speed with a full load. So we're going to take the figure now, and we're going to reverse it, the, the calculation, which means we now divide by 25 instead of uh, 16. Now, obviously, if you divide it by all the numbers we just input, it will be the same as what we started with, which would be 19. So we divide by 25, which is how fast they go which is 72.96 and then we divide that by its capacity which is divided by seven we should need only 10 trucks you see let's get rid of nine vehicles and we'll send those to the thing now what we can do is replace all those uh, all the vehicles for 683,000. now it was like one point something million so we did save us Quite a bit of money there. Replace all those. And we'll colour those. That colour. Oh, that brings me to the maintenance portion. Maintenance doesn't do much beyond controlling emissions. I was hoping it would affect power and tractive effort. Because I'm a bit mean like that. And it would make it a little bit more difficult, wouldn't it? Just a touch. Uh, maybe they'll bring that in. And if they do, you can blame me. If it's a lot harder to play the game. That would be quite brutal on hard mode, I'm just going to say. Anyway, once these have uh, sorted themselves out a little bit, we'll see if that all that math paid off. Currently, it's uh, 127. I think we've got to let it run a little bit before that will before that will update. Can I just say a thank you to the person that pointed out that I uh, I, I accidentally sold a vehicle instead of duplicating it on uh, episode four. That was a special moment in my YouTube career. I didn't even notice in editing. It's unbelievable. Yeah, but it matters not now we're doing this. Uh, but uh, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, that's, um, I, I can believe it. It's literally the opposite, isn't it? Of what I wanted to do. This, this math isn't working out, is it? I might have messed that up a touch. It might be because it needs one more. But it might be because it needs to, uh, to filter through. I mean, oh no, look, the rate's going up now. 
We could have rounded that up, I think. Would have been better. But we'll see. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not meeting demand there. Let's add another one on. My math did not did not work. Again, we got the, the whole the whole decimal point. It should have been 11, I think. 11 would have been slightly better. Let's configure that. Let's add another one on, see what it does. It could be that they're all spaced out weird as well, because I, I just picked a random nine, didn't I? Let's clone that one, get you out on the line, and then we'll see how that rate does. There we go, we've rounded up. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I think this is still only doing 200. Yes, yes. No, we're, 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 we're getting it down, guys. We're getting it down, it's all right. And the rate is going up with the extra one. So there you go, round up or down. We knew it was going to be a bit ballparky because we, we don't know the actual distance, traveling distance of the line. But as long as that's reaching 200, which it is. Oh no, we're overfilling. We're overfilling. Yeah, that's definitely overfilling. I don't know where the production's actually gone up because we are hitting 200. Look, we are, we've matched the rate. So what's going on there, do you think? Is it just spacing? Oh, there we go. That's a little bit more balanced, isn't it? Do you know what? Should we put one on for good luck? I think we should. Configure that vehicle. We're going to put another one on for good luck. Are they coming out of the right depot? Yes, they are. Right. We've got one on for luck because I'd rather this be empty. I don't know whether that's it just encouraged this to uh, run higher. I mean, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? If it was demand based. Anywho, should we? Uh, we're not going to do the same with this one. I'm going to show you the other way with this one, how I do it. Let's just replace them all and we'll we'll balance it the other way. We can use these guys now. They have a capacity of eight, you see, because they're specialized in, in four different types of, of end product there. Well, it's not always end product, is it? Four different types of cargo. It says it there, cargo types. We're going to replace all of them for 1.04 million. Have you noticed our money, by the way? Do you know what we could do? Should we get out of debt? Let's get out of debt. We no longer have a debt there we go no more debt we're done we don't have to worry about that anymore we shouldn't need to take any more loans out now our rate is going to be through the roof here isn't it 184 and that's only going to ever increase so you before you even get there can be uh, can be sold there we go get rid of one that saved us now we got a refund of 97.1k the question is how much do these cost they cost 97.5 so you know as long as you don't leave uh this bit recalculating too long you're going to get almost full money back i mean they do depreciate don't they vehicles as soon as you drive them off the uh off the showroom that's accurate but anyway we need to get that down a little bit because that that's a little bit excessive okay we can get rid of this guy as well there we go two valid ways of doing it i would say ballpark figure doing it this way save a bit of money it's now nah, there we go you've actually uh there might have been a bit of a gap then or the math was out no the math wasn't out because you're doing 236 you were doing 236 i don't know then close enough is what i will say it's probably accounting for all the speed variations and, and bends and whatnot we're happy with it though right it, it cost us a bit less than the other one I do like that method. In fact, we are going to run the platform dry now. It's looking that way, isn't it? We'll keep an eye on that as things progress. Eventually, we're going to need to bolster that anyway. So there we go. We've got... This has got a... No, 122. Do you know what? I'll take that for now. No, you're looking, you're looking at the buses. 158, still probably too much. I mean, I don't mind oversupplying. Although we're not meeting demand technically wish all these numbers lined up right get up there i guess it's just eyeballing isn't it it's nice to have a little bit of knowledge about it well we'll see we'll see we'll let that run how is this running it's obviously making us money has he gone where is he he's up here no where is he gone oh he's just pulling in now there we go now if we go over to here he'll just keep producing that there you go production our trains here it's going to make us one million a trip. That's lovely. So if we go, oh, we don't want the charts that. We want the charts of the train, please. That's going to make it's obviously not going to make us too much cash because he's sat waiting and things. And I mean, 
it's a short journey it's a relatively short journey and we're kind of going around the houses or it's not a house is it it's a massive mountain around the mountain she goes should we something around the mountain oh dear i can't remember the song okay so over here oh we got a we got an issue we got a slow road here that's not going to help things is it we need to upgrade that that that's a slow road now the reason being it is changing these here are the small country roads so when it goes to upgrading it's going to change into the small city roads which are, are quite slow so we need to go to streets and we can either change it to the tw these have a speed limit of 12 by the way the small streets we can change it to a speed limit of 25 which would match the small country road and do we want it to grow out there really i mean not really but we'll, we'll let you for now We'll stick that in there and see what happens. We've got to think about getting the passenger service in very shortly. I think next episode, isn't it? Absolutely, next episode. Or well, next video tomorrow. I do intend to get it out tomorrow, barring any more updates that I have to go and figure out. So how are our lines settled down now? We've got 174. Yeah, it's way too much. You, you, Most of them are going to be running partially full. I mean, I don't mind that. We can maybe get rid of one more. Get rid of one more actually don't don't are we supplying the goods that's the question we're still not i think we should leave that alone and run partially full vehicles i mean four of eight half how many you got on the platform Ooh, do you know it's a tough call isn't it because this one's going to be running empty we could hold them but then we're going to have a big queue I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to do it. We're going to get rid of this one. We could always put him back later. There we go. Optimize our profits. I mean, you know, 93.8k. It's still a good refund. How are we doing? Yeah, this should balance out. I'm happy with that. There we go. Yeah, another truck just turned up. Good, good. We're in a good place. Our bus service. How are all of our lines doing? Let's take a look. We don't have many. We're being very cautious and steady to start with. But as you can see, money isn't a problem. We have no debt. Oh, this number here, I have it abbreviated. But we could, if you like, change it so there are a ton of numbers. So if you'd like to know how to do that and make this look like fancy and big and huge numbers, uh, you can go down here, go into settings, interface, and money number format. You can just full, hit apply. Uh, resume game and there we go it looks like we've got ginormous figure now instead of the millions so up to you whatever your personal preference is so how are we doing here now now it seems to be balancing out all right yes we might actually need to put that back on i was a bit worried about it just needed to uh settle down a little bit but it's doing 172 so, i mean we could balance with this but what we really need to balance with is this that's our key figure there. Uh, this one we need to balance with whatever this 200 is its maximum. It, it makes me a, a little worried that you can't actually meet, continue meeting their demands. I guess that's its limit, isn't it? Once those go uh, beyond what this, this whole chain can do. Because we've got to supply that and that. Interesting. It's certainly going to be a balancing act. I mean, you could ignore Grand Rapids and throw everything into Minneapolis, I guess. We'll see. We'll see what what choices we have. How are we doing? How long do we sit here exactly? Because you are sat here without any income. And that's because... Where's the next train? Yeah, that that's uh, probably not worthwhile, is it? what it really leans to because if we look at the the frequency of these two lines for instance yeah we're only doing 90 91 we've got to be closer to 200 that doesn't make sense either does it Ooh, what we got here ready for our passenger trains i mean it's going to cost us 2.1 million each we'll look at each passenger wagon when we set that up uh in the next episode because we are making money on this you should be closer together because you're doing 377. What's that? 150. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be close to 200. Nowhere near that. Are you producing? You are producing. Oh, okay. It is filling up. It's just slow. 
I thought it wasn't filling up for a second, but it is. Okay. It's just going to take its time to fill up. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe once that gets settled down, it will be closer and tighter to uh, the actual figure that we want. That's okay. This whole business of balancing rates is a little new to me. I, I kind of did it in Transport Fever 1, but it wasn't quite as important. You could just cheese Transport Fever 1 so easily. So easily. Because everything could just go anywhere. There's one of the beauties I like about this new mechanic. You can't just throw the easy stuff at a bunch of cities. No, because like here, for instance, you could then go Bloomington in the... In, uh, in the first game now the only place that wants it is grand rapids and minneapolis now multiply that by a giant map and, and you're gonna have to do some logistical dancing aren't you there's the bread one look at the bread one reds all the way over here fortunately hibbin requires it but we're gonna have to go from here all the way down through the main line all the way up past hibbing all the way to the bread i mean we could go up there technically it matters not Oof, that's a journey. Our fuel is awkward because we've got, they want the fuel. We've got the production here, the oil, uh, the crude oil and the refinery. But then where on earth? <laughs> yes, we're down there. So we're taking it across here and then down here. No, yes, that's the right way there to the, well, that kind of works, doesn't it? And then we can take it back up the main line. Maybe on a freight line, dedicated freight line. Beautiful. Do we like that? How is the bus service down here what, now that it's settled up, settled down? It's lovely. It was just that initial rush. Our buses are making 35k a year. We've got a good rate. And people are boarding them and they're loving it. What I would like to do is, should we end with a bit of a cab ride on this train? Let's get on there. All right, guys. When we come back, then, what are we doing? No, get on train you're doing the oh don't move the mouse i'm i'm used to that we're not being able to move the mouse <laughs> oh we get to pass our logging train full of logs so we're full 96 of 96 as it says there in the bottom left he's about to go and fill the the factory back up so that we can deliver more remember it's at level one i we i should do you know before we end it's at level one but we need to check this okay we don't have to worry just yet obviously of course we don't because of the rate good 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 where's our train i mean we're still selected on it all right let's get on here that has been our our fifth ex uh, outing into the midwest main line we're heading up to the brand new sawmill that's just fired up production no the sawmill we're heading away from the sawmill to the tool factory that is now fired up and making tools and we've got to decide how we're going to get them all the way over to i think they're going to to minneapolis aren't they cool that's going to be a that's going to be a challenge we're going to put a passenger line in first though because it's going to be great to get some passengers running back and backwards and forwards between grand rapids and minneapolis that's going to be an engineering challenge that's for sure and that's that so uh, join me tomorrow hopefully tomorrow yes we'll, we'll call it tomorrow uh, and we'll put in our first passenger line and until then, take care.